brain tech yeah where tech is made simple so microsoft have started rolling out their first optional bug fix c release update for windows 11 version 22h2 and um as many of you may know version 22h2 started rolling out um last week and this is the first optional c release update now being made available which is a non-security bug fix update which addresses numerous um issues and bugs and brings improvements to Windows 11 version 22H2. Now the update is KB5017389 and started rolling out on the 30th of September, which was late yesterday in my region. Now, um, if you'd like to see if you have the update, as always, we head to the settings menu, Windows update, and the optional update will appear in this section on your Windows update page. Now I normally um, suggest not installing the optional updates that roll out near the end of every month unless you are experiencing any issues with your system as most of the improvements and fixes will be rolled out um, in the patch tuesday update which will be the second tuesday of this month october 2022 but i might make an exception with this one and um, i have noticed that after installing 5017389 my windows 11 version 22h2 operating system is much more snappier and a lot more stable so maybe you want to give this one a try uh, even though i don't suggest installing these c release update updates that roll out near the end of every month now if you do decide to install the updates um, you'll have to restart your device and if interested it will be listed under quality updates cumulative update for windows 11 version 22h2 kb5017 389 now just to go through a couple of the key highlights as there are numerous fixes that have rolled out addressing numerous um, issues but just to go through some of the key highlights um the first is regarding the microsoft store where they've addressed an issue that um caused updates to the microsoft store to fail so the actual updates to the store itself were failing that has been addressed and then they've updated the start date for daylight saving time in Chile, which will now start on the uh, 11th of September 2022 instead of on September the 4th 2022. So that's been addressed and um, they've addressed an issue that affects the font of three Chinese characters. And there's an issue that forces the Internet Explorer mode tabs in a session to reload. That's been addressed. And then another Internet Explorer mode issue has been addressed where they've addressed an issue that successfully opens a browser window in Internet Explorer mode to display a PDF file. So that's been addressed. Now, um, there is a new feature. They've added um, more dynamic content, um, widgets content to your taskbar here on the actual taskbar widget, the notification badging. And when you open the widgets board, a banner then will appear um, yeah, yeah, at the top of the board and provide more information about what triggered the actual notification badge on the actual taskbar widget so that's a new feature but i'm not seeing it yet as i have just upgraded shortly before posting this video so maybe it'll take a little bit of time before i start seeing that notification badging and that banner here in the widgets but that's a new feature added more dynamic widgets content to the taskbar notification badging now with this latest update and they've also addressed an issue that affects dual sim calling so if you select no sim on your phone and initiate a call on your device and um, dual sim functionality does not work that's been addressed and then another microsoft store um, issue has been addressed where um, there was an issue that affects some apps that were not signed by the microsoft store you might reinstall them after your up you upgrade the os so that's been now addressed uh, where there was an issue that affected some apps that were, that were not signed by the microsoft store now um this is a bug fix update with numerous um, issues that have been addressed over and above those key highlights so just to mention one or two other um, fixes in case you're interested um, they've addressed an issue that affects the windows search service it caused the indexing progress for the service to be slow now indexing can slow your operating system down um, so that will be a nice performance upgrade to Windows 11 version 22H2. And then regarding the task manager, which as many of you know, has received quite a few improvements and upgrades in a visual redesign with version 22H2, where they have addressed an issue that affects the task manager. It stops working when you switch between light and dark mode or change the accent color and the task manager now supports light and dark mode in version 22H2 and also has the accent color 
that's picked up from your system accent color now on those processes. So that's now been addressed if you were experiencing that issue. And then they've addressed an issue that affects graphics drivers that use D3D9ON12.dll. And then just two more to go. Um, they've addressed an issue that affects the Microsoft Japanese Input Method Editor IME. And then another known issue has been addressed. Um, there was an issue that affects XML paper specification XPS viewers. That's been addressed. And um, if you do decide to install the update, which I am actually suggesting uh, this month that you do, as mentioned earlier on in the video, um, if we just head to Winver, let me just type that in quickly. And the latest um, build now for version 22H2 will be OS build 2261.608. So that's the latest build now um, for version 22H2, which is the latest stable version of the Windows 11 operating system. And that's with update KB5017389. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.